Welcome to our presentation about drafting paper two. Every step that we are going to discuss here basically happens before you write the paper. And so I would invite you to take a look at this very seriously a couple of days before you actually think you're going to sit down and start typing away on that keyboard. Your first challenge is going to be to find a topic of interest, something related to media and society. I encourage you to run those topics by me early in the process so we can make sure you're on the right track. After you identify a topic, you'll do some preliminary research, perhaps just some um, web searching, looking at uh, the library guide related to your topic, and getting some more ideas. Then you're going to narrow your focus. I've never, ever had a student whose original idea was too narrow. Then you're going to narrow it again. So really, really a tightly focused paper here. What I suggest you do next is craft your preliminary proposition, what it is that you think you are going to argue. And this can definitely change. And at this point, it can be somewhat vague that, you know, I think Facebook isn't good for social relationships. Totally too vague to end up in your final paper, but it might be what helps you get started. Next, based on that preliminary proposition, you're going to do more research, begin to gather up evidence and to see what that gathered evidence adds up to. When you've done that, then you need to take a step back, evaluate your evidence. Is it adequate to support your proposition? If not, you're going to need to revise your proposition and or gather additional support. Just like the last time, you're going to brainstorm. What do you need in terms of explanations, definitions, and examples to help your reader fully understand how your support is related to your proposition? I want you to take a look very specifically at the appeals to logic that you use and make sure that you aren't um, committing any errors in logic and that your logic is sound enough to be persuasive to the audience. A very important step, this next one for this paper, is to identify your assumptions. What assumptions underlie this argument? Every argument has assumptions that underlie it. If you have trouble figuring out what they are, work with your team online or come to office hours and work with me. Once you've identified your assumptions, then you need to go find sources that establish them. Identify counter arguments. If someone thinks differently from you about this topic, what are they going to say? And I want you to find a specific strategy for dealing with each counter argument. Are you going to refute it? Are you going to concede it? What are you going to say? Before you begin writing, decide what kind of introduction you will use. What is the power of your introduction going to be? Are you going to appeal to pathos at what level and how are you going to do it? Now you're probably ready to stop thinking and hopefully begin writing, but I want to remind you one time to include skillfully integrated citations. So the expectations for how you incorporate your source material into your papers have been raised. And so you will need to do that more skillfully. And of course, include your list of work cited. These are guidelines. There are other ways to do it, but I am confident that if you follow these steps, you will be prepared to write an excellent paper.